Hey family, what's up? Robert Anton here, robertanton.com. Uh, I um, often get emails or, or comments from people asking me why do I do it. And I'm like, why do I do what? <laughs> why do I do what? But I suppose what they mean is why am I posting up videos on uh, my So You Want to Be a Singer series? Um, and there are many, 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 many reasons, but I'm going to try to tell you just a few of them. Um, you know, when somebody sent me this whole YouTube thing, a good friend of mine, is uh, Theory, it's uh, T-H-I-E 210, sent me the first video, it was of Jennifer Holliday performing, and she's like my favorite performer of all the time, just because of the power and, and, and expressiveness of her voice. Um, and I watched that night videos till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. And I was just having such a good time just searching people from way back when and, and anybody I could think of, I would look them up and I saw videos on them and I was really just, I was hooked. I was hooked. So um, from there, I started to think, well, you know, I could put up stuff from my band. And then I got to January, February. Now this was like in maybe late November, early December. So I got into January, February. And what happens in January, February with many performers is there's a slump. You know, just like the retail industry and everything else, there's a big slump in work a lot of times unless you have a year-round gig. And for the things that I do as a day gig, there's a big slump. So a lot of times um, I tend to, and I tell my friends this, I tend to go to a, through a mild depression. Um, I don't know, when you're a performer, you know, there's so much love and positive energy and and just oh just just everything exerted when you're on stage and when you're performing and when you're doing what you're doing, that it's such a high. I can understand why, you know, some performers, you know, get into drugs because, you know, there's there's no other where else you can get that high and if they can't get on stage, then they can't get that high, so they need something else. Well, I think YouTube has become my something else. Um, I've never done much for drugs to begin with. I don't drink a lot. Um, but during that period, I was thinking, you know, what can I do? And I even posted a video saying, you know, what can I do to use YouTube to, um, to help other people, basically? You know, something that I know. And what I do know about is performing as a singer. Um, most people I know and people I run into say, man, you're always doing something, you always got projects going, you're always working, you've always got blah, 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 blah. How do you do it? So I, that's how I came up with the idea of So You Want to Be a Singer. Um, and let me tell you, last year, while I was doing So You Want to Be a Singer, I ended up finishing up my CD, Insane, and releasing that. Um, and I didn't feel that I went through any type of even mild depression last year. I was, I was just up and I was ready and I was the whole time. And what I didn't realize and what sometimes often we don't realize is when we give things unselfishly, they come back tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold. And because instead of wallowing in the fact that I wasn't doing that much work during the two or three month period when it's dead, I was posting on YouTube, I was getting ideas about um, segments for So You Want to Be a Singer, I was, you know, I'm doing so many things and then that brought back, I gotta finish this CD, you know, it's time, love us any other, and I released that and I went to the Winter Music Conference and so many things were happening and, you know, I have a feeling that because I was doing this, everything else opened up for me, a road just opened. I have gotten so much more out of YouTube than I have given. And I feel overwhelmed sometimes. I mean, tears can come to my eyes, you know. You guys have, have helped me more than I could ever help you. You have inspired me. You have sent me your, um, your problems. And, and you, have, you, have, you have shared with me your joys. I thank you. I thank you, YouTube. It helps me so much to give back that you just don't know. Um, and I go and watch my videos sometimes, too. <laughs> when I need to remember a point or something, you know, I go back and I look at my videos. And I actually had a commercial audition yesterday. And I was, you know, a little nervous because I hadn't done one in a while. But, you know, I watched my Be Prepared. 
and I was there, you know. I, I, I got my clothes together. I knew what type I was supposed to be. I, I was ready, you know. I learned my material. I didn't memorize it, and I thought I should have, and I should have, but I didn't. But I got, you know, I had a good idea of everything that was going on, and I had my background story. I was just prepared. I was prepared, and I went in, and I thought I was going to be nervous, and I wasn't nervous at all. I just walked in and I was happy and I was content and I did my thing and part of that was because I had told you how to do it and in essence taught myself how to do it also because sometimes when you do things you don't know how you do it you just know that you go and do it but if you think through it and you see what happened and continue to tell yourself again and again and again you kind of learn what you did to make to make it come out, maybe not like right, I might not get the job, who cares? I went and I did a great audition, I felt good about it, and I got a lot out of it because of that. Um, so, YouTube has given me something to live for. Um, you guys, every day I think of you when I go to things, you know, when I have appointments, when um, little problems or challenges come up in my business life you know the first thing I think of is how can I work through this so that I can help someone else work through it and and it inspires me every day so I thank you <laughs> um, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm so emotional um, but but that's me I'm, I'm a performer and 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 it's it's best for me to express those emotions so I can remember them later and use them <laughs> so uh, wish me luck on the commercial um, and make sure that you go to cdbaby.com and check out Robert Anton. You can Google me at any time, Robert Anton, one word, or Robert Anton NYC, Play Anton Productions. Um, and check me out, pick up some music. It's, it's the holidays, and I hope you all have a blessed, blessed holiday.